Warrington's Rhiannon Dixon challenges for a first world title fight in a very tough fight as well against Argentina's South American champion Karen Carabajal. A terrific opportunity for Rhiannon Dixon in her 10th professional contest against the vastly more experienced Argentine Karen Carabajal who was beaten on points, her only defeat, 18 months ago by Casey Taylor down at the Wembley Arena. Last time out, Dixon won the European title against the Norwegian Katarina Panders. And Ant Crawler telling me that in the gym, everything she's showing suggests she's made giant strides since then. And this, a step up from that quality of opposition. In these short rounds, you need to do just a little bit more because they're close, they're close rounds and you want to try and steal the rounds when you hear that clapper. It's really a sprint, these two minute rounds and one punch can be the difference between winning and losing a round. 33 year old Karen Carabajal, boxing in this country for the second time. And at 33, she's the equal youngest of the opposition that Rihanna Dixon has faced in her career so far. And we were mentioning the last time we were on Commentary Sky how there's almost two generations of, of female boxers now with the, what I call the Olympic generation coming through now. Yeah, definitely. You can start to see it coming through across the divisions now. And I feel like it's a really exciting era for women's boxing. Um, we're kind of starting to... Um, Tremendous left hand, pinpoint from Rhiannon Dixon, who's got only one win inside the distance, but that was absolutely peach perfect. And there's still a minute to go in this the third round. So rarely at top level do we see that kind of shot, that kind of impact in women's world championship boxing. And now how can Rhiannon Dixon follow that up? Being urged forward, urged forward by her corner. She's got to be disciplined. Wait for the openings. Looking for the overhand left. She needs to set it up with a feint or a jab. Good body shot. When it was left hand to the body that was identified by Ann Crawler as perhaps the key punch, but it was the one to the chin that's turned the contest Dixon's way as there's Blood now spraying around the head of the boxer from Warrington. Seems to have been from a clash of heads. Dramatic turnaround here in the third round. And up to that point, Carbajal was having a good round. She was doing really well. I'm really impressed with Dixon. Her, her head movement, her upper body movement, she's keeping her hands in position. Little steps around and giving angles to Carbajal. But still needs to be a bit busier with her hands. Great movement when she's not punching, great activity when she's not punching, but still needs to be a bit busier with her hands just to put a stamp of authority on this contest. Dixon, a qualified pharmacist to was still working for much of her professional career, but now, thanks to her sponsor, she says, she's fully committed to the professional game. Good left hand to the body, but just clipped on the way out again, Dixon, by a right hand from Carabajal. The heavier shots, though, appear to be landing from Dixon. I like when she finishes with the right hook after that left, that straight left to the body. Oh, no. 
for her home. And she's been made to pay for that more than once in the contest so far. Being clipped on the way out by that looping right hand of Carabajal. Might have just lost it around. Her movement, her excessive movement, is working for and against her in terms of it's keeping her out of danger. But if she was slowed down a little bit more, she'd set a lot more traps and encourage Carbajal to punch, and then she'd have more opportunities to counter. Good left hook from Carbajal there in the exchange. I think I think she's struggling to get a reaction from Carbajal with those movements. I think she needs to either make them more erratic, more believable, something. Um, but Carabajal's not reacting and not throwing based off those feints and movements. She's boxing well and she, she is doing the right things. But, but so, Carabajal's just not, not biting. Good, good overhand left from Dixon. Best punch of the round, probably. So into the final two minutes, what can Rhiannon Dixon produce here to bring the decision her way against the tough, the resolute Karen Carabajal who lands at the beginning of the round. Two solid combinations in a row from the Argentine. It just needs to, needs to stick to her game plan. Maybe she feels like she needs this round just to just to secure the win, but needs to stick to her game plan because for the most part, she's had success, Dixon. Doesn't need to stand and trade with Carvajal because she'd give her a chance. Dixon. She puts everything into the left hand, but then just kind of gets a bit stuck there. Something to improve on. Closing exchanges then. So many times in the contest, when one has landed, the other has responded almost immediately. So many of the rounds have been so, so tight, and how crucial will that knockdown be for Rhiannon Dixon? An embrace in the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in Manchester, we go to the judges' scorecards. Steve Gray, 98-91. Gregors Melinda, 97-92, Peter Milford, 96-93, all three for your winner by unanimous decision, and the new WBO lightweight champion of the world, Rihanna Dixon. And so she's done it in the ring where her trainer, Anthony Collar, also won his world title in 2015. In just her 10th professional contest, she becomes his first world champion as a trainer. So many of the rounds, as we were saying, were tight, but so many of them, according to the judges, and enough of them, have been won by Rhiannon Dixon, the new WBO lightweight champion of the world.